This is a pretty big cat. Big cat. Hi there, cats and critters. I'm Carol Baskin. Oh, yaddy yad. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Swat the belly. Oh, nope. <laughs> nope. That was quite enough. Let's go. He has really sharp claws, eh? Wanna play? Ten fifteen. Breakfast ends at ten thirty. Lane's putting on her face. Excuse me, my earrings. I just don't want to miss breakfast. Lane's wearing ripped jeans for the first time. Ever. I feel like my thighs might be a bit too thick, so it's like popping out. No, I don't have the key. If they weren't so naked, this would probably be a lot more impressive. But I mean, that's what you get when you show up in the middle of winter. This is the original lounge from the set of Lord of the Rings. Like I would remember that. So the hot tub did not end up happening yesterday. It started raining. We were planning on bringing out like, you know, two glasses of wine, enjoying some toffee. Toffee. <laughs> And like, that's not fun when you're getting drenched. So we rescheduled our hot tub uh, session for this afternoon. It's supposed to be fine weather today. Cornflake chicken's good. I think I'm gonna go with the portobello mushroom and crushed angry potatoes with cups with gremolata, toasted seeds, herb labde. I'm like, mescaline. Cups of mescaline and a bush egg. Love day on the side. That love day was really well done. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I felt the love day. <laughs> Kind of expected. Ow! My knee cracks. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Let's go. This is the Gibson River Trail up ahead. Nick and I are walking on the Kawarao River Trail, which is basically a trail you could either walk it or bike it. Just go from winery to winery, tasting different Pinot Noirs of this region. Gibson Valley is home to some of the most awarded Pinot Noir wineries in the world. So that's all that people do, they just get on their bike, they taste wine, get back on their bike, and basically just get pissed. Right? Uh, what's that? Warning. Go slow. Go slow. <laughs> Speaking of getting pissed and riding a bike. What was once a historic church is now a brewery. Cargo brewery. I feel like that's what I look like from the back of my walk. <laughs> You're so silly. Let's grab a pipe. Cargo brewery. <laughs> So this church was constructed in the late 19th century and was deconsecrated in 1950. Remove the holy out of the church and turn it into a brewery. So I'm thinking flight, lager, pilsner, wheats, 
Ooh, pale ale or IPA? That's pretty stable. This one, just have to hold it flat. Do not drop it. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see your hospital skills. Front of house, laying here. Okay, wait. Go first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's sample some of Cargo's brews. Oh, it smells like summer. Smell it. it. Smells like peaches and like sweet, sweet peaches and nectarines. Nice. Yeah. That's such a summer drink. What is that? A Pinot Gris? Of course. <laughs> Let's go. Let me try it the other way. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just follow through underhanded. <laughs> you, oh, you got it? Yeah. Oh, Max, you bring me good luck. Let's hit it to Max. Let's see what he does. <laughs> oh. Came to me. Are we friends? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, here we go. Look at the nan. Here we go. Here we go. Five hole. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Hot tub time. Ling bought Toffee specifically to eat in the hot tub. Toffee. <laughs> Toffee. Toffee. Some Tim Tams, some sweets, and all that. A little Shiraz. My favorite meat cookies. This is my cold. I like a ice cold beer whenever I'm in the hot tub. Oh my god, that's really hot. <laughs> like my toes are boiling. But look at that view. I got the cold water going. I'm gonna grab me one of these chocolate mint guys. Some coffee. Can I have a chocolate bag? Oh! No! Thank you. Oh. We will be friends by the end of this. Cheers, Lang. Cheers to the Kim Ross Winery. Woo, we just got done soaking up in the hot tub, feeling relaxed, feeling refreshed. But now it's time to try some Pinot Noir wine. Make yourself comfortable and we're going to get some water. It's a really taste it, but it was mm. a big group, so... Cheese, great match for this wine as well. Mm, yum. <laughs> Cheese. Mm. I, don't, I don't have any food. It's lovely tasting. Expensive wines. <laughs> Sample the Pinot Noirs from the different areas. Even though you're in the same region, the same same valley essentially, just one block makes a huge difference. Yeah. The highest wine region in New Zealand can be found here in the Gibson Valley at 400 meters. Hotter weather, thicker skin, higher tannin content. But then again, depends which way you're facing. If you're in the southern hemisphere and you have your vineyard facing north, then you're gonna get the most heat. But if you're in the northern hemisphere, if you're facing south, you're gonna get the most heat and vice versa. Very scientific, eh? Growing wine. We're in pizza one. Pizza. So tonight we are gonna trust the chef. No dietary restrictions. Ling's not a celiac to my knowledge. Vegetarian, vegans, you can get out. Vegans. We're gonna make the chef's life very easy tonight. You went with the... A Riesling from 2020. This was 
the Valley Bendigo. We, this was one of the wines that we had uh, as part of the tasting menu. It just has the flavor profile that I like. If you like Shiraz's full body, powerful wines, then the Valley Bendigo, that's your, uh, that's your wine. Cheers to Bendigo. Oh, what's that? So in the middle, that's a squid egg cracker, and we have some salmon on the side. As well. Oh, crazy. I was like, what is that? Fried cauliflower. This is a mung bean and fried cauliflower. Just look at this presentation here. Dehydrated tangerine, raw fish, and what was this again? Squid ink crackers. Great meal. This food is so good. Really good.